All right, we made it down along the beach. Uh, it was pretty windy out there, but found a nice little uh, little uh, refuse right here and amongst the mouth of this cave. Not very deep. Food's up there at the moment, having a, a little sticky beat. See in the distance here too, there's a couple of uh, places up on the hill over there. I believe that was a, a quarry in the distance that's now been abandoned. And uh, you can see the, the jetty, hopefully we'll get a walk out. But uh, because of the sun, uh, the, not the sun, because of the wind, I will be uh, taking my hat off. <laughs> Nearly lost it along the beach. But the uh, rock formations in here are something else. It's a solid piece of rock, I tell you. And uh, yeah, it's all coming out of different jagged angles. It's pretty neat. We'll go a bit further and have a look at it. Oh, so here we are. I've changed my attire. The old hat was uh, in the risk of going into the drink. Anyway, down here at Rapid Bay, I found the uh, replica of the rock that uh, William Light carved back in, uh, I think it was 18... Ooh, I think it's 1830-something. 1836. And uh, this is where he landed. He had a uh, ship that was called the Rapid. So hence how Rapid Bay came about. His ship also left his anchor behind. He lost it. They found it. Um, so yeah, there's uh, a little overview of the... Uh, there's some good toilets back there. Um, but yeah, it have to be self-sufficient. It's... Um, we're, we're paying $30 a night for two people, so... Yeah, it's alright. It's, um, yeah, nice to get a motorhome like ours nice and close to the beach. With uh, some... Uh, there's a caretaker that looks after the joint, um, Wayne and uh, Rita. So, uh, highly recommended. We're going down the other end of the bay now. We're going to go and have a look at the uh, the jetty, and uh, we're probably not going. To, we're going to be closer to the uh, the uh, the mine up there, but it's probably be harder to see. But that's in the direction we're heading. We're just about ready to leave uh, Rapid Bay, and um, I come out here yesterday, but the wind was just unfilmable. I checked it out; it was pretty horrible. So we've uh, I've moved over. There's the sun over there, but. In amongst the shade over there, in amongst the shade over there, is the uh, cave that we walked. Now we've come to the other end. Um, we're just leaving the uh, the big wall that you can see there is the uh, bottom of the quarry that goes back there. I think it was the limestone that they mined. And uh, whilst they mined the limestone here, I think some of it must have been shipped out because this is a beast bloody uh, jetty that they had over here. But uh, sadly over the, uh, the time, it's uh, it's kind of like fallen pieces, but uh, it's massive. It goes way out and then uh, bears to the right and the left over there. So obviously some ships were coming alongside there. Oh, the water's so beautiful this morning. I'm pleased to come down here. Anyway, uh, so the jetty's been replaced by this one. And this one here was built back in um, 2009, I think it was opened up. That one there was back in the 1940s. So uh, it's very. Uh, important duty for the community around here because uh, with the tourism, the campground and things, um, great fishing spot. Um, we've been here seeing many, many people out on the pier here and uh, enjoying the uh, the squidding. There's a few little boats over here. I think there's probably several boats out this morning. Really, really nice. Um, a couple out in front of the van um, did well. They, I think they got five this morning. And uh, yeah, and judging by this uh, this jetty here, there's a lot of um, squid ink on it, so uh, it's a pretty popular spot. Uh, I spoke to a guy down here yesterday, it was absolutely windy, he was the only bloke here, he had five rods out and I think he only had one squid, so uh, and it was, the conditions were pretty unbearable, uh, he was rugged up like nobody's business. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll uh, head out to the end of the jetty and uh, just see... Uh, See how's it looking here and um, show you a little uh, interesting creature that uh, is pretty uh, famed around here. Made it down to the, uh, the end of the jetty here. Now, I think there was a little creature down here that was quite uh, well known. It's called the leafy sea dragon. I would have called it a, a seahorse. Uh, 
um, but it uh, says here the leafy sea dragon are fascinating and unique creatures. The sea dragons are remarkable fish related to the seagulls and belong to the pipefish family. So the spectacular look of the leafy sea dragon is due to its elaborate leaf white images and its amazing colour pattern. It makes them superbly camouflaged. When we were out here yesterday, uh, nobody here today, and it's a nice day today than it was yesterday. Here we have a, a leafy sea dragon. Drinking at the bottle, not thinking about tomorrow. Don't worry, that's a motto, so we keep moving along. Ooh, dropping down a cobble in the sunburnt El Dorado. Don't worry, that's a motto, so we keep moving along. Sunburn tell Dorado Don't worry, that's the motto So we 